Project Pie has been a year-long effort to personify each of our pizzas and give them all their own identity. But we're not artists. We can't draw all these characters ourselves. So we commissioned a young, talented, local artist and let his imagination run wild. And now, introducing our artist, Alex Zarek. Hey, my name is Alex Zarek, owner of Alex Zarek Art and Design based here in Bloomington, Normal, Illinois. I'm a student at Illinois State University studying arts technology in my senior year. Pat just wanted me to be myself as an artist. And to me, that was kind of surprising just because um, taking my art style, which is naturally darker, and, and applying it to something that's essentially like family friendly, I didn't think that was, that was the, the idea behind it. So finding a balance between the dark and the edgy style and something that a kid is gonna like look at and not run out of the room, you know, it, it's a delicate balance, but I think you know, Pat, Pat told me, he was like, you know, I'm not an artist, I don't really know um, how to say what I want, but here's, what I, here's my ideas, and eventually we kind of locked into um, what you see before you today. I'd say the top favorite's probably the Atomic Bomb. The Atomic Bomb's a new item on the menu for Flingers. It's one of the ones that really correlates with my style, untouched, untampered with. The Atomic Bomb was one that was basically right on from the beginning. It was never really a question. That was kind of like the, uh, the representation of how the rest of them were going to go. I think just like the, the darkness and the depth of the environment and like the contrast between the super dark stuff and like the, the cyan hues that kind of jump out of the picture, I think that was something that appealed to Pat. So the Atomic Bomb really set the stage for that. I think um, even, even from the get-go, it really was like the one that kind of defined what everyone was gonna look like. The Super Freak, the concept behind that was kind of having someone like streaking on a, on a sports field, essentially. Um, I mean, as far as Super Freak goes, I think that's a good representation of it. it. Came a long way, I mean, originally it looked, the only thing that was similar about the original one to the, to the one that we had before us today is that there was a guy running on a soccer field, like in that one too, like it's changed so much. It's a censored cartoon, essentially. So it's like, and the general, uh, the general cheese bomb originally was going to be, he was going to be a block of cheese, naturally, which is something that we played with for a little while, and we realized that maybe it wasn't, it wasn't something that needed to happen, especially because the logo of Flingers is already a pizza, like a slice of pizza, and so we didn't want to compromise that. So. Uh, we just decided on just doing an Army General. At first glance, I thought the, the idea was amazing. I mean, really, like, I had known about Three Floyds. I always thought that was really cool. So, just at, at first thought, branding a pizza company in that same style with original illustrations was something that I thought was unique. Definitely had never seen it before, and I thought that it, was, it could really do well if done, you know, if done correctly. It could really, you know, be a game changer in the industry. So. I'm glad that he saw that my art was original enough to kind of be paired with his original pizzas. I mean, it's, it's as an artist, you always like want someone to have faith in you and invest in you. So um, Pat kind of gave me, gave me the chance and, and I, think we, I think we did exactly what we were trying to do with it. 